All right, hello. Um, welcome back to the channel. I um, am getting a chance to do this real quick before I have to work on this and then go to bed. But um, I am working on Woodland Oasis from Chuck Pinson. It is a round and it is just like this. He does a lot of log cabins and uh, this is definitely a lot of green. Um, when I finished my last mystery, I said I'm doing no more green. And then I picked a cabin in the woods by Chuck Pinson. So, um, glutton for green punishment, I guess. I'm living in all the 3346 and 3347s. Um, but no, I enjoy this one so far. Again, it's rounds, it's going pretty quick. Um, it is a little smaller than a lot of his more detailed ones. Obviously, it's not as detailed because it's smaller, but um, I do like it so far. Um, here's a little tour it's currently upside down as i'm working on the other parts but uh i got this case at michael's too it's like four dollars and the shipping was like eight so this is really a great way to organize all your drills which is really really convenient to have them all right there and you can just kind of go down the line and pick them as you go if you like or you can go from the other side it's really nice um but yeah so it's a lot of green a lot of green uh, i get excited when there's like purple or pink because there's like not much color in here but green and dark colors for the cabin so um but I, it's fun and uh again if you're looking for a beginner kit from diamond art club this is a good one because it's not square it's round and um hopefully i will get this finished um in the next couple of days i do want to start the mystery kit by david mclean that came out around black friday it's literally sitting around the corner right there i have not had any spoilers yet i don't know what it looks like but people keep posting them and i don't want to get spoiled by it so i'm not I'm trying to get it done before I have to get it spoiled. So uh, that'll be the next one. Of course, that'll take over, you know, over a month. It's huge. Um, but in the meantime, right now, we're working on Little Oasis, and I am loving it. Um, as far as drinks go, just a heads up, um, I've kind of changed a little bit of my lifestyle, and I don't drink as much as I used to. So if I am reviewing some kind of drink, it's probably going to be non-alcoholic. Um, I've lately been getting into Hint Water. It's a little bit pricey, but it's really good, and it's, like, not carbonated or not full of sugars and stuff, so um, that's kind of nice. But, um, but yeah, so not a whole lot of drinks going on in the video going forward. Um, as far as the distraction for this video, man, let me tell you, I just left the theater, and I saw A Man Called Otto with Tom Hanks, and I did not know what to expect. I did not see one trailer. I did not know one thing about the movie. All I know is that on AMC, it is listed as a comedy. Well, let me tell you, I cried a lot more than I laughed. Um, I really, really, if you could handle the subject of grief um, and processing the passing of a loved one, um, I really think anyone should watch this movie, to be honest. It's all about, um, you know, just the relationships that we still have, even after our loved ones are, are gone. Um, again, I don't want to give too much away from the movie with, with spoilers, um, but, you know, basically it's about a guy who, um, he's kind of a cranky old man stereotype, and he is, has a set way that he does things, he goes and makes his rounds, he checks the gates, he makes sure the recycling is done, um, and he just kind of has his, this own way he does things, and it's set in his ways, and when things are not his way, he gets cranky, um, everyone else is an idiot, um, he just is angry all the time and, and gets frustrated super easily, which I do too, I kind of get that too. Um, but he, he just, um, you know, is, is angry and, um, the movie begins really dark. Like, I mean, really dark. Um, I didn't expect it to go to that point first thing. Um, all I'm going to say, and I'm not going to try to spoil anything, all I'm going to say is that whenever he goes to... Um, the very first day of the movie, he's at a hardware store and he's buying rope. I'll let you figure out that in your own imaginations. Um, but basically it's just kind of like, you know, he keeps trying to create a solution that he thinks is a solution to missing his wife. Um, which again, you find out like, at the very beginning that she passed away. So like, spoiler alert, Ooh, didn't, didn't say that. Um, should have said that beforehand, sorry. Um, but you find that out, like, at the very beginning of the movie, so it's not really giving away a whole, whole lot when you start the film. But, um, you find out that she's passed away, and he just cannot cope with this grief. Um, but every time he tries to create his solution to this problem, um, he's distracted by a neighbor, or by, 
um, something else going on in the neighborhood. And, um, you know, it's really just about those relationships and cherishing those people that may not be family, but are the people that we call family. Um, like I said, I was really embarrassed at how much I cried in this movie because it's labeled as a comedy and I'm up here sopping into my popcorn with my napkins, wiping my nose and my eyes. Um, and there wasn't a dry in the theater either, like everyone else cried too, so I didn't feel so bad. Um, normally it's just me sobbing while everybody else is like laughing or just kind of like, oh yeah, that's that happened. Um, empathetic people, can't help it. Um, but yeah, I think if you if you have experienced a grief and you're willing to look at the things to be grateful for in your life, let's put it that way, um, then this is a really good movie. Really, really good movie. Um, will I buy it when it comes out? I don't know. Um, but it was it was probably my favorite film I've seen of this year so far. So far this year I've seen Megan, that one. Um, I saw The Whale, which also was really good, but maybe another video on that one later on. But I did like this one more than The Whale, to be honest with you. But Brendan Fraser is fantastic anyway, and so is Sadie Singh. She's great. Also, Hong Chow needs the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Sorry, can't help it, love it, but she, she needs it. Um, but anyway, maybe that in another video. But yeah, A Man Called Otto. So that's been my life. Not a lot of drinks, but uh, lots of lots of cabins, lots of uh, 890s. And, uh, oh wait, yeah, there is 890 in this. <laughs> um, and lots of 700s and 669s. Um, or 699s. I'm bringing it upside down, sorry. But, um, yeah, it's going to look really cool when it's done. As you can see with the rounds, um, you really can't tell what the picture looks like with all the white. So, it's going to be interesting to see it when it's complete. But, I really like this one. It's, I would say it's not my favorite that I've worked on. But, you know, we're blazing through it and we're going to go into mystery again soon. So, here's a video before I do a mystery and can't show you. So, um, but yeah, if you've seen this movie, I'd like to know your thoughts about it. Like I said, I think the message is really good. And... I would recommend it to anybody, um, even if you haven't had grief. Just it's, It just makes you appreciate life. You know, it makes you appreciate the life that you've still got, even though someone you love may be gone. So that's what, that's what we'll leave you with. Appreciate the life that you have, even though someone that you love may be gone. So we'll take that little tidbit of wisdom from this video. So on that note, have a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.